Well, I don't know about you guys, but I have just been dying to get back into this random art supplies challenge little vase that I have set up. If you missed that first video that explains what this is, I will link that in the corner because it is going to be so much fun. Now I can peek over the edge here and see some things and there are some things I know I wouldn't want to pick. so. What I'm going to do is mix them up. I will lean way back and we will pick what art supply we are using today. Okay, I'm gonna lean back now. Here we go. You can hear my voice getting far away, right? Oh, I'm nervous. Create the color colored pencils. That will be the art supply we are using today. Okay, I was hoping it'd be watercolor, but didn't want it to be colored pencils, but I'm kind of actually wanting to use colored pencils. I just don't know what to do with them. What to create? That is the question of the day. Here they are, Brevier's Crate of Color. I know I just killed that pronunciation, but that's okay. So here's their website, and it says they're premium quality, Austrian manufacture, centuries of experience and tradition, it wins over beginners as well as professional artists, Wide assortment of products and colors. Cool, all right. Let's see what we think of them. Actually, I wanna see what they look like. I'm sure I used them when I first received them, but I don't remember which project that was. Well, this is what they look like. And I have this cute little pencil sharpener that is battery operated, and I wanted to make sure these fit in there. I'm pretty sure they will because these look like regular pencil thickness, diameter. Whereas the Derwent ones I was trying the last time I pulled this out are really thick. Okay, it, it works. It totally ate the pencils, so I wonder if I have something stuck in there. Yeah, I have something stuck in there. Dang it all. <laughs> and the battery sounds a little weak. I had a feeling the battery would be weak because it's been forever since that I've pulled this out and used it. And so I figured I'd probably have to replace the battery, but I'm gonna have to get that little bit of lead out of there in order to even use this. I'd really like to use this, and you can see here if you change this little switch to the hand icon there, then you can use this as a manual pencil sharpener, so you don't have to rely on having batteries on hand, so I think this one is good for traveling because if you run out of battery and you don't have any with you, you just turn this to manual mode, and it basically keeps it from turning in there, and you turn the pencil yourself just like you would normally. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get this cleaned out and get some fresher batteries in it. I'll save these batteries because when they're low like this for a pencil sharpener, they still work for months and months inside a computer mouse. So that's kind of handy. Before I go do that, I just wanna show you because I'll be putting this on some time lapse and maybe tell you a story or who knows what. But this is the book that I'll be using. I'm not going to do an original piece of artwork today because I just kind of had the urge to do some coloring and listen to something in the background. It just kind of felt like one of those days. So this is the design that I'll be working on here. Hopefully it doesn't take too long because I'll get a little tired, but I think that it should be fun. And I'm excited to see what I think of these pencils because usually in my coloring books, I pull out my Prismacolor colored pencils. They're nice and smooth, annoying to sharpen, but this one didn't do much better either, did it? Well, I will go fix this mess and we'll get started. Fresh batteries are in, clog is removed, and then you need to keep a regular pencil around. Maybe find all of your regular pencils that are pretty dull. This one's not that dull, but it was right over here very handy because Colored pencils, at least the soft ones like Prismacolors, I'm not sure I haven't, I'm not sure about these, but they are, oh, you know, these weren't a subscription box. These were ones that my friend bought for my mom. Anyway, colored pencils will gum up your sharpener and so you'll need to put regular graphite through it every once in a while and I replaced the battery and it's a little happier. I don't know, it's kind of choppy though, so I'm not sure that the blade in there is that great. Let's try it out on this one we ruined. Could just be overused. Oh no, that's beautiful. And it didn't chop that one up at all. Okay, well we'll play, plan on using it until it doesn't work very well anymore. <laughs> 
The very first thing I noticed the moment that pencil hit the paper was how hard these pencils were. They have a very hard lead or whatever you want to call the thing in the middle that's the color. So their lay down was more like the Prismacolor Verithin, the V-E-R-I-T-H-I-N, which are intentionally made hard so that you can get a really fine point and a lot of detail. So these definitely reminded me of those pencils. And because of that, at first, I was like, hmm, I don't think I'm going to like these very well. But then, as I had to get into the more detailed areas, it's definitely a benefit. So there is that, at least. You'll see when I do the background, though. Oh my gosh, what a, <laughs> what a mess to use a hard pencil for the background. But we'll talk about that a little bit later. I was trying to keep a somewhat limited palette here for my coloring. And I kind of sort of mostly succeeded. I did start repeating a lot of colors on purpose. So there is that aspect to it, which is good. It's good. But I did want some more colors. So I was like, well, here goes the next set of colors. I hope that it's not too much for the piece. And eh, it's just a coloring book page. Regardless, when you finish a coloring book page, no matter what kind of colors you put down, it kind of does look nice. And so that's really cool. So another benefit besides just being able to get into the detailed areas really easily is that they also sharpen very easily. I had no trouble using my little portable sharpener, no trouble with any of the pencils breaking. They all sharpened beautifully and that was such a relief, such a, I don't know, a good experience, especially if you guys know Prismacolor and have had to sharpen them before. It can be kind of a hassle and these were not a hassle at all. They were really easy to, to work with in that regard. So here's where I decide to put in some blues, ah, <laughs> but I actually really like it at the end. But it is when I get all finished where I decide, I think I do want the black background. I've done that on one other coloring page and I really like it. I did that particular one with a Sharpie, but this one I wanted to try with the pencils because I'm like, well, how often do you really use your black colored pencil? Probably not very often, so it would be okay to use it in this big open area in the back but it did take a very long time. I had to actually change out the battery in my camera and I filmed this in time lapse even. So, whew, yeah, it was a lot of coloring. And towards the end there, I'm like, why did I choose to color the whole background? And I know you're not seeing that on the screen yet and I'm talking about it a little preemptively, but regardless, what else is there to talk about, right? <laughs> I was just testing my greens there to see if the one I wanted to use was dark enough to differentiate between the light one next to it and those leaves. Okay, then I'm like, okay, time to fill in all these extra little holes and things that I've left for the last and getting towards the end where I'm looking at it. Yeah, and that's where I'm like, oh, the background. I really want it black, even though I know it's gonna be a bit of hassle. Oh, but here goes with the black and right away I'm like, oh, this, this is a problem <laughs> only because I had to press really hard. These pencils are hard. I've told you many times. And so I had to press really hard to try and get at least somewhat of an even lay down of color. And ugh. Ugh. <laughs> this took so long. I had to take a few breaks and stretch out my hand and deal with the, uh, the pain, clear up my forearm and oh sharpen the pencil a few million times, but I got it in the end. I was determined, absolutely determined to do it, and I did it. All done. I am pretty sure I need a new arm and hand from here down. <laughs> it's all dead, and it hurts, like, clear up here into my elbow. <laughs> so... So uh, yeah, that's what you get when you sit and color straight for, I thought this would take an hour. I was hoping it would take an hour. I think it's been three hours, I will tell you uh, when I go through the footage. <laughs> but these pencils, I probably told you everything you already need to know about them in the voiceover. So really, I guess all that is left to say is, will I keep them? Will this go back into the pot of already used up supplies to be drawn at a much, much later date? That is the question. And the answer is, I guess. <laughs> okay, that was after like a 20 second pause that I cut out of the video, but I guess. The answer is I guess. I guess I will keep them. 
they're very hard, more like very thin, but if I'm going to open up my coloring get together thing, which I am going to do in September, then I might need more pencils, more hard pencils, especially if we get into really detailed things. Like look how little the, the little coloring parts are on this. You're going to need a really hard pencil that is sharpened to a nice fine point to be able to color things like that. So a hard pencil can be useful. For this stuff, the black that I colored in like that, that would have been way better suited to a soft pencil because I really had to push hard on that. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this random supplies drawing using colored pencils, doing a coloring page. But hey, at least I have another coloring page done. That makes me very happy. And I will sign and date this and see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. Most of my watercolor supplies, I have no idea what I was gonna say. <laughs> uh, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good.